something pretty interesting happened off camera. And um, unfortunately, I, I'll do my best to explain to everybody what happened. But uh, in a nutshell, I was going through the toolbox behind us there that's got all of our junk in it, all of our weapons and ammo and everything. And I was taking it to Diamond City and I was trading. You know, just getting ammo, buying fusion cores and stuff like that. Uh, just usual stuff off camera, you know. And on one occasion, I fast traveled back to Diamond City. And I don't know if you remember this character or not. He his name is Danny. He's a redheaded kid. Yeah, he's a, he's an adult. He's probably a teenager. He's the one that we had to kind of swindle with Piper to get into Diamond City back. You know when we first got to Diamond City. Um, he was laying on the ground and he was shot. And Diamond City security was talking to him. One of the other guys was, and you're like, you know, what happened? You know, are you okay? Um, and it turns out he said something along the lines of, I saw him talking with Mayor McDonough, the synths, he's working with them, you know, something like that is what he said. And so he now he's got people thinking that Mayor McDonough is a synth, and it gave, it started a quest for me. Um, it also gave me the option to save his life by giving him a stim pack, which I did, obviously. Um, but yeah, that started a storyline, another quest, as you will see here, I think it's already selected, In Sheep's Clothing, Clo Clothing, In Sheep's Clothing, Confront Mayor McDonough, McDonough, yeah, doesn't really have any, uh, doesn't have a summary, I don't think, yeah, here we go, Mayor McDonough has been revealed to be a synth and an institute spy, he shot Danny Sullivan, who is now bleeding out on the street, he is not bleeding out anymore. He better not be. Because since that's happened, I've actually fast-traveled back to Sanctuary and then back to Diamond City like a dozen times. Selling and selling and selling and buying and selling and trading and all that crap. I don't know why that's on the ground there. But anyways. Um, I went ahead and grabbed all of our weapons out of this, which this is where they were. I knew they were in one of these two. Because for that alphabetical excursion thing that we've been doing, we were kind of just carrying the bare necessities, like two or three weapons, and that was it. Well, now, my friends, we have our plasma rifle again, which has, you know, 319 ammo. Uh, I sold a lot of our 10 millimeter ammo. We never use this gun. That's just a sad truth. Um, the 50 caliber sniper rifle, which this thing is a monster. Like, I mean, come on. Just listen to it. Could put a hole in an elephant's ass. Um, the shotgun. This is the big one. We only had... Five, 600... At most, 600 ammo for this thing. Before I started this. And it took me forever. Um, because the... You know, Arturo and the other chick next to him, who's kind of paranoid, they don't have a lot of shotgun ammo. They never do. And uh, I went to the Pridwin as well and traded some there to get more shotgun ammo. But at most, every place only has like 20 or 30 shells every time. And it's really annoying having to, you know, find a, a, a bench like that to sit down on and just pass the time. Which it doesn't take but like, you know, 30 seconds. But it's still time. But we have a lot of shotgun ammo and I'm going to play around with that a lot more. Here is our assault rifle. 483, that's not terrible. Probably not going to use it much. Uh, nothing in slot 6, apparently. Uh, the laser rifle in slot 7. Um, slot 8 is our night vision assault rifle, which has over 1,000 ammo. And slot 9 is, of course, the big boy. 24 shots. Not terrible. You know, 24 is... Technically 48 if you count the two shots that get fired off when we use it. So, with all of that knowledge fresh in your minds, and with me saying that there's nothing else has happened off camera, I've just been trading, you know, boring stuff I've been doing while I'm in Skype calls, just uh, going to Diamond City, coming back here, going through the toolbox, back and forth and back and forth, lazy, usual, boring stuff I wouldn't want to show you guys. Just like the start of this video, and how it's been boring because I've just been talking. So, let's remedy that. I'm gonna go back to Diamond City. We're gonna go to the market, actually. 
we'll drop by here and we'll see what we can do with this quest. Now, unfortunately, I did not, um, I don't have any other places set up for us to explore in terms of the alphabetical excursion thing. I can't even remember where we left off. I think we're in the F's, I want to say. Maybe, maybe we're in E. No, I think we're in F. But I don't know. Like, I have no idea where to go from there. Um, so, once we get done with this, I really don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the episode. Hopefully, this quest might take a while. But, no one our luck, it'll be five seconds. Oh, he's still here. So Crocker killed Earl Sterling. Can you figure that out? What? You trying to make us look bad? He's been sitting here for a week now, and he's still alive, apparently. Yeah? Huh? No, well, maybe we can talk to him. <clears throat> I'm just going to stay here. Okay. What about you? Hey there. Hope you're well. Okay. What about you? <clears throat> yes. Yes. Excuse me. Huh? All right. You guys are all useless. We need to. What did it say? Conf we need to confront Mayor McDonough, and we have to find him. Which I guess it would help if I had that highlighted. Uh, is he? In his office, or is he out here? Well, apparently, he's out here. Okay. The fins. Okay. Well, we'll go out here and see if we can find him then. If the mayor is a synth, then that is going to be quite a twist. I mean, that this was such a abrupt, you know, revelation that I was like, "Whoa! I need to record this tonight. I, I want to see. I, I'm hooked. I want to see if it's actually true. Is he really a synth? The mayor of Diamond City?" I mean, we know he's kind of a jerk, but I didn't know that that meant that he was a synth. Oh, he's, he's up in his office, isn't he? We could have just probably just taken the elevator up there. We could have. Oh, well. We can do it from here, too. Up we go. Bye, dog meat. Can you open this? No. Should probably put my weapon away. Here's hoping we don't have to kill the guy. I mean, he is the mayor. Wouldn't want Diamond City's residents getting mad at me for killing their mayor, even if he is a synth. Then again, they may worship me for doing that. Who knows? Who knows? I knew, I knew you were a synth, McDonough. Yes, Piper. Congratulations. You won. I hope you break your foot trying to kick that door down. Ugh, damn it, it won't budge. <laughs> well, you're going through it, so you're making some progress. Gone. Wait, are you playing dialogue that you should have played earlier? Do you know what this means? Wait, uh, wait. I think she's <laughs> crap. I think that I was supposed to go see Piper beforehand, and then she would have given me this speech about the institute being destroyed. And for some reason, the game is making her say it now, when in reality she had stuff she was supposed to tell me in regards to McDonough being a synth. Speak up! I couldn't hear you. Oh, shut up. Exactly. It means no more kidnappings. No more sleepless nights terrified your neighbors plotting against you. No more fear thanks to you. We don't have to be afraid anymore. Fear me. They don't have to be afraid thanks to us. I never could have done this by myself. True. But the Institute was around for a long time before you got here. Not anymore. Welcome to day one of the new Commonwealth. Okay, now, can you please go back to the set of dialogue you were supposed to be using? Piper. Damn it, McDonough's locked the door. There you go. That, it, is that it? Oh, okay, well, okay, well, fine. Unlock novice. Oh, damn it. Uh, there's no key. There's gotta be a way in. Uh, okay, fine. Out of curiosity, could I just push this button? Yeah, that's what I thought. Here we go. That's far enough. Help me! He's crazy! I am not just going to be discarded and tossed to the wolves. I'm the mayor, goddammit! My turn. Let her go, attack him, discarded. Oh, all 
You're right. She can go. Now, I'll tell you what's going to happen next. I'm walking out of this city, unharmed, with my dignity intact. You're not getting off the hook that easy, McDonough. You have to answer for what you've done. I'm either walking out of the city a free man, or I'm killing as many of you disgusting, filthy savages as I can. What are you going to do then, McDonough? I can't go back to the Institute. I can't stay here, but I'm a man of resourcefulness. I'll make my way. Just let me go. Hasn't there been enough bloodshed? Think about poor Mr. Sullivan. Attack him. Agree to his terms. He'll stand trial. Uh... <laughs> stand trial. And these people are going to have justice. Lord knows you've got plenty to answer for. Trial? Please. You know how these people feel about sin. I won't be stuck in a prison while they gloat. Alright, so he, yeah, he's just gonna fight us, so. Well, poop monkeys. Psycho. Yeah, good. I love being addicted to it, anyways. If you, you know, it would help if you didn't get in my way, but whatever. Kellogg's house key, yeah. Are you just leaving? I guess I'll loot his Dead. body. Huh. Hey boy. I say McDonough didn't deserve worse, but without a mayor, the city council will be next in line to pick up the pieces. Let's hope they do a better job. I don't know when people are gonna be ready for another mayoral election. Not gonna be soon, that's for sure. But at least now Diamond City will finally have the truth. Uh just do, okay. Wait, you're just gonna pull your gun out on me again? So what now? Hey, Piper. I got a lot to clean up here, Blue. Hit me up again later. Well, that's what I was afraid of. So we killed him, and that means what? No, no one's gonna see me if I steal this, right? Well, if anyone could figure out a good use for it. Well, apparently she noticed, even though she's nowhere near me when I did it. Whatever, fine, let's get out of here. Alright, so, word on the street. Mayor's dead. Pastor. Thank you. God willing, he'll make a full recovery. You guys suck. Who needs a haircut? Everyone needs a haircut. Hey, officer. Hey, you were the one that walked that freedom trail, right? That's good. Oh. Go, freedom. Go for. <laughs> uh, well, crap. That the that did nothing. I guess I have an addict doll, do I? No. <laughs> Okay, well, we're done with that. Mayor McDonough's dead now. I wonder if I had killed him back in the beginning, if he would have had, like, synth components to drop, and if people would have noticed, and if the game would have adjusted accordingly. Probably not. Ah, <sighs> Crumbs. Hmm. Huh. What do we do now? Collect technical documents for Proctor Quinlan. How about now? Dang it. Don't I have stuff in my inventory that I can't really do anything with? Apparently I have three shipments of aluminum I need to drop off at the house, but or house at the base, but um Word is that the gang up at Vault 95 has a big had a big score recently. If we can hit them hard enough, we can make off with a nice haul of caps. Search for caps in Vault 95. Okay, good. Hey, I found something for us to do. Hell yeah, finally. Cool. That's what we're gonna do. That's totally what we're gonna do. Where's Vault 95? Yeah. 
This is uh, definitely deserving of being in the miscellaneous category because otherwise I don't know um, what we could have done. I mean, I could have technically gone to um, Night Reese and Scribe Palin, I guess, for, and, you know, we, we could have messed around. Nice. Nice to know everybody respawned from the first time I killed them all. There's not. Well, I mean, as far as I know. Ew. Do not like Assaultrons. Man, those things are creepy. Never liked them. Apparently we still haven't killed everybody though. You know, call me crazy, but I'm pretty sure the first time we came to this vault, there was a door I couldn't get through because it was master locked. But now I think I'm gonna be able to remedy that. Maybe. I don't know. Take him out. Where are you? I don't do it. Wait a minute, were you missing your arm? Your whole torso looked like it was gone. Oh, you were hiding behind a rock, okay. Gotcha. That didn't work. Somebody didn't have any legs. That. Got that. All right. So I guess we're ready to head back in, and I think it's going to tell us where to go, too, so that's awesome. Um. There we go. So, yeah, we did find something to uh, preoccupy ourselves with this episode. Something about elevators in this game really makes it bug out. It doesn't like to... <clears throat> like, yeah, see, look. I don't know what the heck I'm holding, but it's not a gun. There it comes. All right. All right, let's see. Where do we need to go? Definitely a hot place to be right now. This place has definitely got people in it. Who... I mean, they're not... They're not gonna roll over, that's for sure. Man. Oh, 
All right. Because God knows a 50 caliber sniper rifle around in my skull wouldn't be enough to kill me either. Now, it seems like it was right in, in this area here where we kind of got stuck, but maybe I'm just imagining things. Ooh, medics. Oh, hi. Bye. Uh, okay. Ooh, this place looks decrepit. Keep firing. Keep firing at me? I'm nowhere near you. All right, just basically a uh, whole lot of nothing. I mean, honestly, there's nothing here that I'm really <clears throat> missing out on. Unlock facilities wing. All right. So we've done that. Suppose that whenever we find the facilities wing, the game will most definitely let us know. We can try our laser rifle. Haven't done that in a while. Um, yeah, what's in here? Just a room, right? Beer. Uh, yeah, it's still empty from the first time I looted it. It's not surprising. So, we came from that direction. What's over here? Oh. Hello? Oh, hi. Okay. Is there anything down here? Or... Whoa. the heck is this? Why did everybody die down here? Get some. Oh, hi. Question is, are you gonna grenade me from like two feet away? Because I wouldn't. This gun's fun, but it's definitely not the best. Um, I'll take the paint, because I still don't know what I'm going to need paint for, but you never know. Hmm. I don't think we went this way the first time. I don't think. Precious, precious aluminum. God, the recoil. Still got over 99 uh, frag grenades, so I'm not terribly worried about spamming those right now either. Uh, let's see... Laser rifle... Oh, a door! I, I almost missed, no joke. Got it. What do we got? Uh, some stuff... A safe... Duct tape... Surgical tray... Knock out this. There we go. Sweet. Uh, that's probably it. I don't 
think we're going to find anything amazing in this place, unfortunately. It's just, you know, another place in the game to discover and explore, which I'm cool with, but I, I don't think there's anything super awesome amazing. Wait a minute, did we just go full circle? We did. Man. Alright. So, going that way basically just loops you all the way back around. Okay, well now we know. So where does this go? Oh, hey, dumbass. <clears throat> That's not what I meant to say. I meant to say, where does this appear go? I think this is the only way. This way and... Okay, this is the way. I think this is the way that was locked the first time, right? We've already opened it with that terminal up there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is all new, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. All I know is I'm definitely finding my... Oh, snap, son. Your skull just is splattered all over the place. I'm definitely getting plenty of aluminum. I think that alone is making this trip worth it, because I've got a lot of power armor upgrades I want to do. Oh yeah, level 68 finally. I feel like we've been stuck on 67 forever. That sounds like a robot, uh, stomping around. Let's see what we can do point-wise here. Strength is maxed out, perception is 8 out of 10, endurance is maxed out, uh, charisma is maxed out, intelligence is maxed out, and agility is maxed out. Luck is still at 3. Uh, let's see... Came two plus two strength and endurance within the hours of six a.m. and six p.m. While standing still, you gain twenty five percent damage distance to your melee and unarmed attacks to twenty five percent more damage. Gun bashing, hip firing. Hip, hip firing accuracy is improved when firing a gun. Let's go ahead and get that one. There we go. I do a lot of hip firing, so that should make it uh, better. Alright. And this place is turning into a maze. That's kind of what I was afraid of. I don't often use that feature very much. I have to get back in the power armor. The uh, whole, you know, grab. Come on. There. That. It's it's kind of buggy for me, so that's kind of why I don't use it that often. I hear footsteps. Kill them all. Huh. They're like right above me, apparently. Okay. I'm just going to keep taking all your aluminum stuff real quick. And I'll get around to killing you guys in due time. I'm on him. All right. Let's keep going. It seems like I remember not clearing this place the first time through. Um, <clears throat> and maybe this is why, because we didn't go through here and do all this. I hope it is, because I would really like to clear this place once and for all. Uh, I don't think there's anything back here. Nope. 
Legendary. What does legendary mean when I have grenades? Oh, actually means a lot. Okay, got him. That hurt. Another legendary, okay. He didn't even, uh, as far as I know, he didn't even mutate. Uh, let's see, let's see. Technical document for Quinlan. We'll grab. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Still, mostly just pointless loot. Nothing, nothing super duper amazing. <laughs> I mean, the most valuable thing we've found so far is an overabundance of aluminum. And I'm not going to complain, because the aluminum, you know, I don't know if you noticed how many shipments of aluminum I had, but man, I've got more than a couple. Hmm. We are getting close to the end. Which is nice. Oh, shoot. Hi! Oh, no, probably not. Gonna unlock this to tool case so I can get whatever useless craps inside of it. Nice. Wonder glue, the only thing. Detox facility. As far as I know, there's not a bounty on me. Sorry. Uh, it's weird. It wasn't letting me. Uh, wasn't letting me stim pack myself for a second there. All right. I'll take the medics. No, I was gonna take the aluminum canister. There we go. Aluminum canister. All right, is everyone ready to see this wonderful bounty of caps that we're supposedly looking for? 123. It wasn't worth it. Oh, I didn't want that. The only reason this would have been worth it would have been if... Uh... Whoa. I just noticed that was a fallout sign. I forgot what I was going to say. Can we go out this way? No. We have to go all the way back. I'll take that, and I'll take that. I'll take all that. So essentially now we have to go all the way back. Wait a minute. I want to see what's over here. No, we came this way, right? Yeah, okay. Now, let's see. Is this place clear now? It is! Awesome! So we have cleared Vault 95. That's not exactly what I had in mind for this episode, but in addition to murdering Mayor McDonough, because apparently he's a synth, we managed to do that. Got a decent amount of caps out of it, uh, and a buttload of aluminum, which is the big thing. We still need to get that Adam Katz, uh, headpiece for that armor that we got. And I think they've got it. I just, you know, I haven't went back to check. I think I just overlooked it when I was, uh, buying stuff from her. I can't remember her name. Dog meat, please. Grr, dog meat. All right. But yeah. Glowing seas off in this direction. It's, uh, no, wait. Now the glowing season in the opposite direction behind us. That's weird. I thought it was out there. But anywho, let's travel back to Sanctuary. I think I managed to uh, drag the episode out long enough. 
still aiming for 30, 40 minute episodes, you know. Uh, the series used to be every other day, so if it was, you know, it's like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and so forth, um, that's gonna change. It's, I think it's probably already changed. Ugh, come on. Dang it. Okay, one more thing. Croup Manor, where you at? Uh, Croup Manor... There's one person there. There's just one person living at this place? Oh, that's depressing. I feel sorry for this person. It's not even a settlement, it's just like a... It's just a house for a guy. I wouldn't even call it a settlement. Poor fella. Um, uh, you okay? I just want to trade a few things. No, I don't. There we are. Hey. Leave my settlement alone. Jerk. Serious fighting going on over there. Oh, come on. I'm stuck. Grenades don't do snot anything. Oh great, I'm encumbered. Whoa. Whoa. Settlement lady. All crazy, Zip, zooping around and all that. There, that should be enough. Uh, yep. Yeah. All right. We helped defend Croup Manor with a population of Uno. I think that is going to be it for this episode. We didn't accomplish too much, but we did do some stuff. You know, cleared out Vault 95. It's done. Never going back there. That would be Seth texting me again. Uh, I think he texted me in the last episode too. That or Minecraft one. Anyways, that's it for this episode. The next episode, we're probably going to get back into our little alphabetical excursion thing. You know, continue doing that, hopefully. Because God knows it's going to take an unimaginable number of episodes to go through the entire map. Especially if I'm as thorough as I prefer being. So, yeah, What's up? nothing. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you in the next episode.